Shalom. I want to get a topic. The topic is going to be called. Uh, I want to make a video. It's about what it's been on my mind that I've seen more believers than Christ than there is believe the believing in the Creator. Okay. Um, first of all, if you read uh, Micah seven and five. I believe is Micah 7 and 5 and this is what people don't understand I don't know why they want to ignore this scripture uh, I read the seventh chapter a lot in Micah and um, it's talking about uh, it says the church complained of her small number but it says uh, the general corruption but it says put her confidence not in a man but in Yah you have to put your confidence in the Creator that's what it says but I'm gonna uh, read the fifth verse I don't read the first verse but if you read the fifth verse I highlight it here it says trust ye not in a friend but put ye not in a confidence in a guide this is a treasure map I mean the book of remembrance is a treasure map and the reason why um, I kinda dropped the New Testament known as the good spell I'm studying for what it is I see what's tangible now I had problems with the Gospels for uh, years. Uh, I used to teach what Paul said two years ago, and uh, Paul kind of shook me off. And that story is based off of the people that who wrote it like that. And the the guy that was Paul, his name was uh, Paul Nieces of Tyana. He uh, had, they had a comparison when I found my research and things like that, and. Uh, I kind of got shooken up by the, by the by his scriptures and about the law and things like that and that kind of bothered me and I stopped teaching that ever since I think that was uh, two years ago when I was a Christian and I left it and in this Hebrew faith now and um, that's been since last year since I came in this truth um, I've been studying this word Satan coming for five years and um, seeing what's going on see what's going on overseas and things like that and um yeah i just read michael 75 said don't put a trust in a friend or nor in a guy this is a treasure map of the book of remembrance because if people read what it says specifically and it gives you the instructions uh put your trust in yah and the law and the testimony and uh commonly called isaiah known as just yes year, 8 and 12 and down to the 13th verse and don't you know make him your fear because you know and like like it's spoken of in scripture uh yeah i've been doing a lot of mithra videos versus christ videos i hope you understand that i'm trying to see where this is going uh a lot of people believe in christ versus um on say like this they believe in christ versus um They believe uh, Christ is versus the people that don't. I mean, versus Yah. That means uh, the people that believe in Christ, they're nothing but idol worshipers. There's many names of Christ. Uh, a lot of people don't realize when I did the myth reveals, I wasn't trying to destroy any religion or put anybody down. I was just trying to debunk all the madness that he that he wasn't a actual, you know, thing. But you know. If there's more evidence, more people bringing more evidence that say he wasn't actual. But this, it's a huge debate going on between. Uh, there's a huge debate going on between Christ and Josephus, and that's all over on the information board, the forums. You can type that in. It's a huge debate going on, and a lot of people are questioning the, the New Testament. But you have many. You have many. You have a lot more people believe in Christ than ever before. You have people in the Hebrew Israelite community believe in Christ. You have the people in Christianity, all people believe in Christ. But it all comes through Mithra. That was the idol god of the Persians they had in Medo Persia. But if you read Daniel 11 and, and 39, it, uh, Christ was going to be a strange god like gold and silver. At first, they made him a dark skinned person. They made uh, Christ a dark skinned person, I believe. I've seen some research on that. Then they made him. 
uh, a so-called uh, white person or a lot of people say pale face like the Indians would say but that's what they made him as but really he was an idol he was basically your, your gold and silver and mainly uh, they put this idol and they spread it all over the globe and I believe that's what happened and a lot of people have misled from the book of remembrance if you read in the good spell the gospels of the new testament like I just mentioned it has a lot of flaws and if you read Christ's stories in the fourth gospels he, he has not taught about all the commandments he taught six commandments I saw the elders video today and he said six commandments I read it for myself again what he he pulled some interesting scriptures out I should have read a while back and then I realized that the uh, Yahuwah or Yah had had ten so two tables of stone ten but he told Moses put your, your laws aside they are we supposed to do that in the land and people don't read Deuteronomy 4 as much and they don't understand the law and it tells you that yes yeah, a lot of stuff in the book remembers a lot of miracles and things like that it's a lot of evidence and a lot of truth because people are debating about this now but they can't debunk it because there's evidence and substantiating truth that's overwhelming we know that but the New Testament itself was created by Titus Flavius Josephus or known as Joseph Ben Matthew or something like that uh, that guy uh, took the ideas of Filio of Alexandria like I mentioned in my video and I mentioned it on Ustream you can check that out and uh, you can type in um, I believe you can type in Filio Alexandria and I think it says Matthew under it that's my uh, channel you can go there and I have interesting videos and I did one with uh, Filio Alexandria I want to make that clear that he wrote the New Testament he knew what he was doing these were Edomite scholars uh, historians all had our information and before we came on a slave ship they took it off on the slave ship and kind of humiliate us and destroyed us like it said in prophecy that he was going to destroy us utterly and, and he was going to raise us up at the end at the end time we at the end time at the feet of the clay um, a lot of people wanted to believe that Christ was some kind of uh, son of God that's mentioned in the book of remembrance they said but he's nowhere mentioned in the book of remembrance I can get Deuteronomy 32 and 17 right now that people that do not read this they I don't know why they do not read this this is in the law this is what Moses said before uh, this is what y'all don't read you do not read Deuteronomy 32 and 17 because it was already prophesied it was going to be new idols new gods raised up like wood and stone wood is Christianity stone is Islam and that's what the descendants of Yasharal known as Israel was going to worship and still exile to this day and Esau knows this that uh, we are being exiled to this day and uh, you can get this for yourself I mean it's common sense but let, let me get Deuteronomy 21 and 23 y'all don't read this and it says if a man if his body shall not remain all upon night on the uh, the tree but thou shalt in a, any wise bury him that day for he that is hanged is a curse of Yah that thy land be not the fire which Yahuwah thy power give thee for an inheritance it was prophesied in the book of remembrance that we was going to be hung on trees and stuff I think that was part of the curses as well uh, in Deuteronomy uh, 28 but in the 21st chapter it tells you that was going to be part of the curses and if you read Deuteronomy 32 verse 17 we was going to worship newly idols newly raised up if you read Deuteronomy 28 64 was that the prophecy it was going to worship wood and stone and if you study the slave trades of different slave trades that came through that, that we was going to worship these things and these idols and images uh, y'all need to rethink Deuteronomy 32 and 17 please explain this to me if you know what you're doing of the scriptures because most of you don't know and I'm gonna read uh, I'm gonna read what it says in the first verse it says Moses sung with settle forth uh, Yah's mercy and vengeance if you read the first verse all the way down to the 45th verse uh, it tells you about his vengeance 
what he's going to do. But if you read the whole thing around in the 14th or the 15th verse, he's talking about you was going to worship strange gods, but you know, provoke them. But it says they, they sacrifice unto idols, but it says devils in your most of your Bibles, but it should initially said idols, not to a God, to gods whom they knew not. The new idols that came newly up or newly raised up, whom your fathers fear not or knew not. So that's talking about Christ or Allah or whatever forms of idolatry you're into. That's talking about uh, when Moses prophesied that we, uh, Moshe, uh, commonly called Moses in your Bibles, uh, Bibles based on two stories, but. Uh, it was prophesied that we was going to be seeing newly raised up. Our forefathers didn't do that. They was worshiping Yah. It's just our people was worshiping idols like the Canaanite religion by all and things like that. And then you go further about the Egyptian religion. All those religions come from the Egyptian religion. But Mithras is a common religion came from the Persians and then later became Christianity. That's what created uh, Christ. He's no different than these deities and these idols or all forms of idolatry because a lot of you break in the uh, first commandment and that's talking about thou shalt have no other idols before me I know you ain't supposed to worship no man or no idol or any image or a graven image anything in likeness and if you read your gesture 43 he says I am Yahuwah thy power and there's no there's no savior beside me or no savior there is no savior He's your only savior. Because his righteousness is near. I made a video about that on the tube. And uh, yeah, please read Deuteronomy 32. That's a powerful uh, script. Read the whole chapter. But if you read the 17th verse and stop right there, and it tells you newly raised up. But if you read the whole story, I'll tell you that. But yeah, Moses in that time, you know, this was before this book was written years ago in the BC times I think probably before that and they, they was in before we was going to go into captivity Let's talk about our forefathers but if you knew the story but uh, it's like it says in your gesture I'm going to get this in 36 chapter I, I, like I said it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time strength of salvation fear of Yahuwah or Yah is his treasure that's what it is right now. We shall not be redeemed without money. I, I'm sick and tired of people talking about gold and silver. But if you read Ezekiel 7 and 19, it says it's a stumbling block for our iniquity, our sins. Because you have many of them had gold and silver. Okay? And um, nobody is supposed to be worshiping gold and silver. That's a, another form of idolatry. That is mentioned in Daniel talking about Christ he's made with gold and silver they painted that to want you to believe that he's some kind of different races but that don't mean nothing he's an idol uh, you're gonna pay for that because a lot of people can't explain Deuteronomy 21 uh, 23 and Deuteronomy 32 and 17 they can't explain that and that's what's wrong with the community that our brothers the Hebrew community and the people of the world they're gonna keep worshiping these idols like it says in the song the nation has their idols as they serve that's in psalm somewhere i forget what psalm that is but uh they worship these idols to mislead us to the to, from the creator of yah the most high they the, they mislead us from the most high yah and they they purposely doing that to see but the but if you read the book of remembrance he, he, he wants you to see who's obeying him and a lot of people are not obeying him. They're obeying some idol. they putting this Yahawashai or this other names of Christ. These idols came from Mithra. They the ones are being deceived and being destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Like it says in Hosea 13 and 9, we destroyed ourselves. We put ourselves in captivity. We allow these other nations to rule over us and, and punish us like uh, slaves. And the Most High allowed that to happen. Uh, that's Hosea 13 and 9. It says, Yashara, O Yashara, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. And he's here now. You know, it's mentioned in Malachi. You know, it's like, are you going to serve him or not? Because many of you are being cut off right now. You just fulfilling Malachi 2 and 12. 
and it says Yah will cut off the man that do this the master and the scholar out of the tabernacle of Yaakov and him that offered an offering unto Yah of hosts and that's talking about a strange guy if you read the 11 verses it says Yahuda have dealt treacherously and, and an abomination is committed in Yashara in Jerusalem or Yerushalayim, what most people say in the Paleo, but you know, in the modern they use Jerusalem. Uh, for Yahuda have profaned the holiness of Yah, which he loved, and have married the daughter of a strange idol or strange power or strange God, they would say. And like I've mentioned in the 12th verse, they shall be cut off the master and the scholar out of the tabernacles of Yaakov. That's right. Y'all fulfilling that to this day. What y'all doing in these eyes, like I mentioned in Deuteronomy 32, verses 17, and Deuteronomy 21 and, and 23, because the curses of slavery, the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Y'all on these curses. He hadn't looked up on us. But it says in Malachi 3 and 16, that's what it says about the law. It says, Then they feared Yahuwah, spake often one to another, and Yahuwah hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for him that feared Yah and that thou that thou upon his name and they shall be mine saith Yah of hosts in that day when I make up my jewels like I said in this 17th verse from this reading and I will spare them as a man that spared his own son that served him he's one of knowing who is serving him who is not serving him that's Malachi 3 and 18 it's decision time and it's steadily approaching but it's gonna be uh, unexpected out of nowhere but most of you are in idolatry y'all ain't gonna get this and uh, a lot of people are gonna scoff at this they're gonna say I'm foolish for saying this but y'all put your faith in the God y'all don't read Michael 7 and 5 it clearly says it's a treasure map you know y'all's giving you clues what's going on and keep this word holy and get some knowledge do some research about the New Testament itself and study what you've learned I learned a lot from the the good spell but even though it had, it had a lot of lies and flaws in it but I know who wrote it so a lot of you in these camps or churches whatever y'all all believe in Christ y'all all believe in Mithra y'all believe in the idol gods of Rome or Roman Catholicism or any forms of idolatry you have you're gonna be cut off it's decision time He's making up his jewels as we speak. So with that, yeah, I just want to expound on the uh, people. Most people, uh, I want to make it. This title is going to be called. There's a lot more people believe in Christ than the ones believe in Yah, or trust in Yah. They trust in Christ, trust in Yah. I might put that in the description. So with that, I want to say is shalom.